Would you look at that? A Jeep in its natural habitat. All right, so since it's middle of November, or beginning middle of November, it's gonna be cold soon. It's actually already like 30 some degrees. Snow's coming. So, Volkswagen getting put away, Jeep's coming out to play. Um, I've got a long list of stuff I wanna do to it, and I'm gonna go over it right now. Pack the fenders, because they look terrible. Repair front U-joints. Repair blown wheel cylinders. Replace brake parts in the back. Both sides. Rear diff service. Front diff service. Repair lack of mirror. Repair lack of pillar lamp. Install quarter guards. Fill cooling system with actual coolant. Repair perpetual oil leak. Remove this damage. Resecure front bumper. tools. All right, we're going to knock out these rear brakes real quick. I did the other one because it was all greasy off camera and that side of the shop's kind of dark and I don't have my light stand. I do, it's just dead, so. Don't scold me about the spacer. Since I'm doing wheel cylinders, I need these little nubs. They come right out. And I'm going to clean everything up. I just got to get moved over to the uh, new, set of, uh, new set of shoes yet, too. So that basically comes off. And if you have a good hardware kit, it should come with them. If not, in my instance, I have to reuse it because I have a bad hardware kit that is wrong for everything I'm doing, so bleh. <laughs> Gotta clean all these little pads up or else stick and after much fighting wheel cylinders out in the trash all right cleaned everything as well as I could lube the uh, points where the shoes ride on the, um, on the backing plate that's super important now we'll start assembling earlier I mentioned these lube them stick them in the uh, wheel cylinder that I forgot to grab give me a second Alright, all that struggle and that brake line's fucked up. So, yeah. I'll do it from later. Fuck it. God damn it. 
Uh, you want to lube anything that moves, basically. And we want this spring down this hole. It comes up and over onto that post. Ow. There's that. Don't forget the adjuster down below. This side's reverse thread. Lube it real good. On there, on there. Get that unit in there. And this spring. We'll go up in this hole and get clipped onto this little adjuster. And then this final spring goes up on there as well. So you can't see what I'm doing. And then this spring goes up there and right up on here as well. And everything looks good. Tension my adjuster a little bit. Then she also popped out. Before I throw the drum back on, I always come and take a piece of sandpaper. This is just 150 grit. And get rid of any fingerprints. This helps in preventing them finding out if you killed somebody and it helps get the grease off because the grease is on there it can cook and glaze and overall this will help a little bit. This shoe is considerably worse but sandpaper comes right off. Did not get a new drum reuse the old drum but I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna hit this with a uh, deburr tool to knock some of this uh, crap off the ridge here and then I'll hit this briefly with a piece of sandpaper to roughen the surface up a little bit I can fit the drum before we uh, adjust it out.
or adjusted in. It's definitely making contact. Nothing good on TV? I got the drum back on, and unfortunately my spacers don't well. But, um, yeah, I'm leaking fluid out of there, so I'm going to make a new brake line at a later date. So, uh, yeah, pretty much, but that's basically how to put the uh, drums together on one of these things. It's a 87 Cherokee, Dan 44 with the uh, tow package, so the, uh, 10 inch drums with the uh, two and a half inch wide pad material. So. Next on the chopping block is going to be axles. This one's good yet. This one I want to get to before it blows out. I've already rebuilt these. These were ABS shafts that I pulled the uh, tone rings off of. They should work perfectly fine, but they're still Dana 30 stuff. So, but new U joints. If you found this video useful or entertaining, remember to subscribe and then uh, tell me how I did. All right, catch y'all later.